today we're going to take a look at how to set up Amazon Smile for your nonprofit. The first thing we're going to do is go to the Amazon Smile website. The registration site that is is org.amazon.com. Once we're here, there's the big orange button how to register now. If you want some more information, you can scroll through. We've outlined this all on the website if you've read our article. But this will tell you everything that you can and cannot do and how to do it all when you are signing up for Amazon Smile. So I'm going to hit the register now button and the organization that I'm going to help set up today is Juicer, one of my uh, consulting clients. It instantly finds the entire name of the organization, even though I've only typed in a portion of it. And since that is the right one, I'm just going to hit on register and your administration account information. Now, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create myself as the account administrator. This can easily be changed later. So it's not uh, too important at this time, as long as, of course, you have permission of the organization to do it. Um, Note here that they recommend using an email address associated with the organization. That helps them confirm that you are indeed an authorized representative, as well as a couple of other things that we're going to have to enter in a minute. Create a password. For this, I always use a password generator. The generator that I like to use is also the storage system called KeePass. We could get into that as a tool another time, but once I've created it in KeePass, I can just paste it into any forms I find. And just like that, we're creating an account. Now, what's my job title? I am, let's say, the community manager. And a phone number here, we'll put in the phone number for Juicer. This is the number publicly available on their website, so I'm sure they won't mind me sharing it. We've read the participation agreement and send email verification. Let's try that. There we go. And email has been sent. Now I do have an account at Juicer and it is right over here. Let's refresh the inbox. That actually only took a couple of seconds. I didn't even need to pause really. And let's confirm the registration. Done. Now we could start receiving donations as soon as we register a bank account. So the name on the account has to match everything that's on the check. Um, as we say in our instructions, it's helpful if you have a cancel check handy so that you could refer to it right away. Um, I'm just going to enter their information here and hit submit and then we'll resume. Once I've added the bank account info, they now want a verification image. Here again, you can either use the first page uh, of your organization's bank statement or a voided check in either a JPEG, PNG, or PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a PDF that I have from Juicer. And then I will indicate that this is in fact a bank statement and upload image. Done. Your verification image has been submitted. So now it might take them a little while to verify your information. In my experience, it doesn't take them long at all. This is Amazon after all. They have a lot of people working for them. And now there's a convenient little button here to look at the marketing tools that they have available. You can uh, get a unique charity link so that people can go to your charity directly. You can get a banner for your website so people can click directly from your website to Amazon using Smile and um, donate to you automatically. And of course, you could share it out on Twitter and Facebook. That's it. It's as simple as that to get your organization registered and begin collecting donations on Amazon. By the way, you don't even have to finish verifying your bank information for people to start contributing to your cause. They just won't release it until your bank information is verified.